roast cauliflower triple cheese pasta. I have some nuts toasting on the stovetop. The walnuts are toasted and I did not burn them. Now this is drained fresh ricotta cheese. About three quarters of a cup of Parmigiano Reggiano and about three quarters of a cup of Pecorino. You add a little nutmeg, about an eighth of a teaspoon. I'm just using the back of a paddle to kind of mush this all together. Over very low heat, you just warm up some olive oil and a few cloves of crushed garlic. And you let that, the garlic should just turn to mush. It's about half, two thirds of a cup of oil and a few cloves of garlic. A little bit of that garlic oil goes into your cheese mixture. The rest of it goes on the cauliflower. Now the cauliflower, this is one large piece of cauliflower, one big head of cauliflower, right? Do not waste the core. You just dice it into little pieces. Do not waste some of the greens. I put them all on this tray together and we take the rest of this oil and dress the cauliflower to roast in the oven. We season the cauliflower. Duh, with a little salt and pepper, of course. And then roll it around and get that flavored oil to evenly distribute. So we're gonna put the cauliflower on a foil lined and parchment lined baking sheet into the oven at 450 and it'll probably take about 20 minutes or so. So chop the nuts, it's about a cup of walnut and then add it to the cheese. So now is the time to drop the pasta baby and we liberally salt our water to flavor the pasta itself whenever we cook dry pasta. So to dress the cauliflower, I have a little parsley. And I was just chopping, I plumped a handful of currants in some hot water and I drained them in the palm of my hand. Threw them on the counter, chopped them up a little bit. I drained off some Italian capers, both the capers. Just poured off a little of the brine threw them on the counter, ran a knife through it. So now we're going to try and shimmy this cauliflower into the bowl. This is when I wish John wasn't behind the camera because I could really use an extra set of hands. So now we're gonna add the parsley, a little red pepper flake, all of our capers, and the currants. Here's the really exciting part. I have the starchy cooking water. Boom. Gorgeous. Pasta spirals out. But let's start mixing the hot water into the ricotta and walnut, pecorino, parm, garlic, olive oil mixture with a hint of nutmeg to thin it out a little. And now we're going to add our fun little short fusilli or spiral pasta of any kind. Boop. I mean, come on. I'm gonna put a little bit, like a third of the cauliflower just running through the pasta. So it's incorporated. What a beautiful winter dish. Gorgeous. Pile the rest of the cauliflower. 